Good morning. Welcome to A Little Bit of Hope. It is a beautiful day outside. And it is Tuesday already. Uh, we celebrate the fact that uh, we had worship a couple of days ago, that it is an opportunity to live out our faith today. And I was looking uh, through a devotion this morning, and 1 Samuel 16 came up. And as you know, spending a lot of time in the Old Testament uh, in the Psalms, not so much in 1 Samuel. This may sound <clears throat> a little interesting, but the, the message is still very solid. The Lord said to Samuel, How long will you mourn for Saul since I have rejected him as king over Israel? Fill your horn with oil and be on your way. I am sending you to Jesse of Bethlehem. I have chosen one of his sons to be king. But Samuel said, how can I go? If Saul hears about it, he will kill me. The Lord said, take a heifer with you and say, I have come to sacrifice to the Lord. Invite Jesse to the sacrifice and I will show you what to do. You are to anoint for me the one I indicated. Samuel did what the Lord said. When he arrived at Bethlehem, the elders of the town trembled when they met him. They asked, do you come in peace? Samuel replied, yes, in peace. I have come to sacrifice to the Lord. Consecrate yourselves and come to the sacrifice with me. Then he consecrated Jesse and his sons and invited them to the sacrifice. When the they arrived, Samuel saw Elib and thought, Surely the Lord's anointed stands here before the Lord. But the Lord said to Samuel, Do not consider his appearance or his height, for I have rejected him. The Lord does not look at the things people look at. People look at the outward appearance. But the Lord looks at the heart. And that's really where I was going with this today because on Sunday I was talking about uh, where's our heart? Because our heart shows in our words and our actions. How are we forming that? How are we letting things around us form that? And here, tucked away in 1 Samuel, is a wonderful support of that in this situation as they continually bring people before the Lord to be anointed and the future king, David, is about to be anointed. But the thing that really stood out to me is there is an obedience happening here, but the Lord himself saying do not consider his appearance or his height for I have rejected him the Lord does not look at the things people look at we look at cars we look at houses we look at um, how people are dressed that little hint of jealousy comes in or judgment comes into play people look at the outward appearance but the Lord looks at the heart. And that's a message for us today as we continually look at what happens in the world. Where are people's hearts? Where their treasures are? What has shaped their heart? Will now show. Maybe in the outward appearances, but certainly as we look deeper. To the inward, to the heart. It'll show in our words and our actions. Let's pray. Dear Lord, we thank you and praise you for this beautiful day. We thank you for your scripture and your calling us to a whole new place. To see people as you see them rather than how we see them. Lord, I 
I thank you for this time and this opportunity to look into the scripture. And from that, may our hearts be molded and shaped in a way that's pleasing to you. Lay your hands upon those who are mourning today, those who have lost someone they love, thinking of Humphreys, Morris family, and others. Those that have lost possibly something that they enjoyed, a job, a relationship, maybe even a friendship. Those that may be mourning because they have to move, some change has happened in their life. Lord, lay your hands upon them. Guide them through this setting. Lord, we lift you also those who are in need, those who are entirely nervous about upcoming surgeries. We just ask that your peace, your peace beyond understanding, be laid upon them, Lord. Calm their nerves. Walk with them as we walk with them towards their date of surgery. Let this time be a blessing, Lord. Thinking primarily of Cindy right now, who is very concerned about her upcoming surgery, but this is a, a time when we can all come together and lift up these people, Lord, both today and throughout the week. We lift you, Gary, and others who are in rehab. We ask for healing and care for them. Lord, we ask that you lay your hands upon those that are in areas that are in turmoil, people who want nothing more than peace and rest. Work within those settings, Lord. Watch over those who are traveling. Guide them, care for them. Watch over our college students who are returning to class or preparing for the upcoming semester. We thank you, Lord, for your movement in our church, in our lives, and throughout the world. Continually encourage us Lay your hands upon our ministries and upon our finances and all that goes on in the background so that your word can go out to the world and make disciples for Jesus Christ. For we lift all this in Jesus' holy name. Amen. Well, good morning, my friends. Thank you for watching. It is truly a blessing uh, to have this media and to continue uh, I don't know how many years we've been doing this now. Several years through COVID. And uh, I'm still discovering more to share. And what a blessing that is and how much hope we can have. Even in the most rockiest times, we have hope. Thanks be to God for that. So any comments, concerns, prayer requests, please leave them in the comment section below. And until we see each other again, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May you be blessed and be a blessing to others. Share a smile, a kind word, a random act of kindness. Certainly lift others in prayer today. So, until we do see each other again, be blessed. Be safe. And we look forward to spending time again. Bye for now.